What's good my YouTube family? Um, I know it's been a minute since I made a video, but I was really under the weather. So I had COVID and it was not what I thought it was gonna be. But we're not here to talk about that. A, a few people have asked me, so I finally broke down and made another Instagram. So my Instagram name is, and I'm not that great at editing this, so I'm just gonna say it and I'll put it in the description, I'm pretty sure. Um, my Instagram name is K, that's K-A-Y underscore D-A-D-D-Y underscore D-O-L-L-A-Z. That's K-Daddy Dollars. And that's a little nickname that you would have to, yeah. But, um, that is my Instagram. I made it. Please add me. I, I, I follow, follow me. I follow y'all back. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get better at being on there. I'm, I'm so not used to having it, so... Uh, please bear with me, but I do want um, I want to follow anybody that supports me and If hell if you don't support me you follow me. I'll follow you back, you know, so uh, Yeah, I got a new Instagram of course I can tell you on my Facebook my Facebook K Deshaun Y'all see my YouTube, you know my YouTube's K Deshaun. Um, I have a snapchat. It's also under K Deshaun but I barely get on snapchat which I don't get on really anything besides Facebook and then I don't put a whole lot on there. But I'm trying to get better with sharing more of myself because people feel more connected to you when you're I have a video about my hormones are killing me. Now, I know that sounds crazy and dramatic as hell, but this it's not it's not it doesn't mean what you think it means. So when I say stuff like that I mean what I mean by my hormones are killing me, meaning um, because I've been on hormones for a while now and I don't have any naturally producing hormones in my body, um, a lot of the times I forget to take my shot. And before I had any surgeries, that was be, that was almost like non-existent. Like I never forgot my shot because my hormones were literally fighting one another. My estrogen was fighting my testosterone that I was injecting into my body. So I would know, like I would feel it and then I would know, okay, it's shot. It's time to take my shot. So it's what I mean by my hormones are killing me. Um, when you don't have, when you're, you're, you have a chemical imbalance, especially of hormones, it causes you to be able to be more susceptible to things like depression and anxiety and things of that nature. And so lately I've been feeling really down, especially when I, when I was, um, tested positive for COVID, I was feeling really, really down because I was just laying here every single day. And um, I was laying here every single day. I was bored out of my mind. My wife's out of town, so it was just me. And it started to like really weigh on me. And so um, I'm not realizing, well, for one, I was too, um, I felt too bad to take my shot. Like I was physically tired and my wife is calling me. Okay, so I was interrupted, but uh, <clears throat> so when I was sick with uh, COVID, I didn't feel like taking my shot. I was literally tired all the time. I was exhausted all the time. That was the worst of it, the coughing and me being exhausted all the time. So I basically skipped that week and it, it not being on my mind later on, once I just finally started to feel better, uh, I couldn't figure out why I was just so, so down. And like, I started thinking of all of these scenarios of the, the worst of everything. And it was, so my message to everybody, especially, you know, trans men, trans women, what you take hormones, or if you just have hormone replacement because your body doesn't produce enough hormones, um, biologically, then my advice to you, everyone is to make sure you take your, hormones when you're supposed to because it does matter and it probably will catch up to you later on and you won't be able to figure out what's wrong with me that and i stopped taking my medicine a while ago but i'm gonna start taking it like i'm supposed to because that will probably help me but uh my wife had called me and kind of knocked me off of what i was talking about now i want to roll into a, a a different like segment of this so because hormones go also with emotions but I don't want to just focus on just it being about the hormones of it. Also just emotions as, as far as being a man goes. So um, it's 
it's it's it's kind of difficult to navigate hormones as a dude. I'm gonna tell you, it is C coming from. So let me start off by saying, honestly, before I don't know what it feels like to be female, and what I mean by that is that I've never felt like a female. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like, but it, it always felt off to me. So, um, but I'm. But I'm also the same person that I was before I started taking hormones, medically transitioning. So I think of, I think I was way more. I was. It was not no think about it. I was a more emotional person before, but it was still not bad. Like I would, I would cry way more than I do now. And now it's 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 very hard for me to cry, but. Um, I feel a lot of things, but I just hold them in and I keep it to myself, which is not a good thing. But I don't know how else to navigate because once you start to show emotion, people start to treat people treat you like you're sensitive and and that you don't know how to control your emotions. I, I, I feel like I can't control my emotions because I don't speak on half the things that I feel, not nowhere near half the things that I feel. And so I want to put a message out there. Can you? People as a society stop treating guys like you can't feel things and you can't express how you feel. Now, granted, there's a way to go about expressing how you feel, but once somebody starts to tell you how they feel about a situation, don't try to make them feel like they're sensitive for voicing their uh, their thoughts and their feelings on it. That's what you sell, you know. Like I, I will be the first person to tell you I don't know how to navigate my emotions. Because I've always been a person to to hold things in, keep things to myself. Because I always felt like nobody really understands me, or understood understood me, or understand where I'm coming from. And the bad thing about that is, if you give somebody a chance, there are people out there that you're not the only one. I guarantee you, you're not the only one that feels a certain way about something. And so, you gotta learn to let people in to a certain extent because some people are really there for you and then other people obviously they just want to get everything they can from you and then later on probably use what you told them against you you know and those are not the type of people that you want to share a lot of your your in your inner dealings with but um it's it's hard navigating emotions as a guy you don't know and that's a society thing it really messed it up for for it's hard to go the, between the two from being a person that was I don't want to say allowed but allowed to share how they felt about any and everything but not even doing it going to a person that, that you're looked upon frowned upon or it's frowned upon to be so expressive of the way you feel and called deemed sensitive or emotional and that's not the case where you're a human being you have feelings for a reason and you want to be able to express that to anybody that you feel so comfortable with and so um the, I, I will always advocate for mental health and I will always advocate for therapy and things of that nature and that was another thing that I was dealing with was I was supposed to have a therapy session but because I was feeling so under the weather I ended up having to cancel it and normally I have them like every two weeks but this this um time it had been a, at least it's been at least a month since I've had a therapy session and that's another thing that was getting on to me because I usually release and then I, it's like starting over again. You know, I release or whatever, whatever I was feeling and then I'm able to talk, you know, I'm able to go long stance without feeling like I need to say this or feeling like I need help on uh, how do I express myself without sounding like, for a lack of a better term, and this, this is a lot of other people's words, these are not my words, the lack of feeling like a bitch. Like, because people don't know how to say things properly, that's what you get called, you know. And um, it was just a lot for me to deal with, and I felt like I was dealing with it, and I still am. I feel like I'm dealing with it by myself. I don't like to let people in close to me because it's been too many instances where I've told somebody something, and something I don't even really think was a big deal, but I shared with them a part of me that I never really even shared with people, and then I hear about it later, later on. Like, I don't like to hear about something that I told you in confidence because that was something that I, I decided to share with you and I don't want to hear about it again. I already know what I'm going through. I don't want to hear about it from your mouth, about me. You shouldn't be able to 
Nobody should take something that you give them and be able to to use that against you. And that's that's not a, it's just not a good look. trans men that have had hysterectomies because once well I don't want to say just hysterectomy I had a total hysterectomy a laparoscopic hysterectomy so they took out of my cervix my uterus my both ovaries and my fallopian tubes so um so I don't produce any hormones biologically at all anymore and um. One again, when you for, when you don't take your hormones, your body doesn't. <laughs> it's like your body doesn't know what it wants to do, what it's supposed to do, because it you've altered yourself. And um, believe it or not, and I want y'all to Google it if y'all don't believe me. But believe it or not, your your body it operates a lot off of hormones, like everything off of hormones, and it tells you when you're in a good mood, when you're your metabolism's too slow. It goes down to being hot or cold, you know, like, when you're, if you're in a good, like, if you're happy, that's just the basic stuff. Like, without hormones, your body is basically in confusion. <laughs> your body is in confusion. And me not wanting to take them, so not, not that I don't want to take them, but it's just, the needle doesn't bother me. And, you know, if I get bored of sticking it in one spot, I'll stick it in, a, in another spot. It never bothers me to the point where I'm like, I don't want to take my hormones because of the needle. That's never the case. It's literally, I literally forget. Like, it's not on my mind at all. I take mine every Tuesday. And even then, like, my hormones have always been out of whack. So, before, when I first started medically transitioning, um, I was, I never took a whole, a full CC of, of hormones, ever. So, I went from taking 0.8 to... 0.5, 0.6 to point whatever, but never a full CC. And then I went from taking it every other week in my earlier years to now every week because my body doesn't, because I don't have enough testosterone in my body. Um, and that's why I forget, honestly, because I went from taking it bi weekly to every week. It's after I had my hysterectomy because right after that, that's when I started having to take it every week, which is, I feel like was weird because if I'm producing my own estrogen, and then you take my estrogen producing things out of me. It shouldn't be so much estrogen to where it's combating my testosterone. Well, I don't have any estrogen at all, but combating my testosterone. And I should be taking less in my mind, but I actually ended up having to take more. And yeah, it takes some getting used to balancing your hormones. And it, if you don't understand that your mood, I should say, have a lot to do with hormones. You will forever be wondering, what is wrong with me? Is there something wrong with me? Am I making this up because I feel down all the time or feel, you know, discombobulated or feel off? I don't feel balanced all the time. Like, what is the issue here? And it starts making you think too much and get into your, well, I ain't going to say you. I always speak for myself. It starts making me feel like I'm thinking too much. I'm in my head too much. Too many things are going wrong. What's wrong with me? Nothing even happened. Why am I depressed? Why am I sad? Why am I feeling like I'm not enough? Like, <clears throat> little tidbit about me. I've always felt like I was not enough. Another reason that I go to therapy, but it's my own things about me not feeling enough. It's this thing about me. And my wife, my wife compliments me just about, if not every day, almost every day. She tells me how handsome I am and things about me that she likes, like when she likes my haircut and things like that. It means a lot to me, but I think that it doesn't mean what other people think that it would mean for me. Meaning, no matter how many compliments I get from other people, and while I'm very appreciative of them, I am, I don't show my appreciation, I feel like I don't show my appreciation in the way that people think that I should show the appreciation for their compliment towards me. When they tell me, when I get a compliment, I simply say, thank you, and I go on about my day because somebody could literally praise the ground that I walk on every hour, every minute of the day, and if I don't feel like it's how I feel, it doesn't mean fireworks to me it just means thank you <laughs> thank you for telling me that thank you i accept your compliment you know i don't want it to sound bad because it can come off as 
I think I'm hot shit or I think I'm better than people and that's the furthest thing from how I feel about myself and it's not necessarily always insecurities or low self-esteem it's not what it is it's just when I feel like I fall short of something I just don't feel good about it and so no matter how much praise somebody gives me about it or how many compliments I get about it it, it doesn't it doesn't sway me, you know? And that is a shitty feeling because I don't want to make, especially my wife, I don't want to make her feel like I don't appreciate her compliments or I don't appreciate her trying to make me feel good because that's, that's not the case. I just have my own things, you know? And so, it's, I'm, I feel like I'm hard to be with because I don't care for me. Listen, I don't care if I get compliments or not from people. I really don't care because, but on the flip side of that, because I know I don't care if I get them from other people or not, I don't compliment a lot of, you know, I don't really give out compliments like that because I know I don't care to hear it. And I don't know, that sounds terrible. It's not that I don't care to hear it, but I don't care if I hear it or not. I should say it like that. I don't care if I hear it or not. And other people are not like me. Other people don't feel that way. They like to hear it. They want to hear it. Sometimes they need to hear it. And I understand that. So, it's, a, it's, I'm telling you, it's difficult. It's really difficult to be with me on that aspect. Because if you're looking for a compliment from me, you might be waiting for a while. And I try to get out of that. I try to remind, rem remember that a lot, most people are not like me. A lot of people want to hear good things about themselves. And I feel like I'm that way because I'm my worst critic. Like, there's nothing you can sit there and say to my face that's going to make me feel worse than things that I've said to myself. Because I don't give myself enough grace. I don't give myself enough love. I don't give myself enough, period. Like, I'm a giver. Like, I don't give myself. But I'm a giver, but I don't give it to myself. And so, um... It's, it's it's so it's hard to get into my head and make me feel like a compliment is the greatest thing in the world. You know, I don't want to say a lot of people because when I'm talking about it, I'm talking about my wife. Because if anything, I'm going to give her the most compliments out of than more than anybody. And because I'm not really looking for anybody to give it to me, I don't expect to give it to anybody else. And that's sorry, honestly. So. Uh -huh. This video was really supposed to be about taking hormones and my hormones killing me. And I, again, I mean, what I mean by that is when it causes me to get into these deep depressions because I forget to take them, I feel like I'm getting way too comfortable with being not okay. And I'm not trying to be comfortable that way, but I'm used to not being okay that I brush it off so easily that I don't realize that I'm so deep into it until I'm so deep into it. And then it's, it's so much easier to to get into it than to climb out of it. And there's literally no one can help me but myself. I have to get my mindset into the fact that, okay, you're okay. What? And I have to break every single thing down. What's wrong? Why do you think you feel like this? What happened in the last however long to make you feel like this is why you feel like this? Like, this is, this is literally my thought process all the time. Uh, to make me get up out of that mindset and feel like, Nigga, you really all right. Like, there's nothing wrong with you. Nothing happened to make you feel like you really should be down. And then I started at the backtrack. And most, of, more times, I've noticed now, more times than not, it's because I forget to take my shot. Once I take my shot, I'm good. I might not be 100%, you know, let's ride out into the town and do some shit. It's not me. But I know what's wrong with me. So, um... And that was just really heavy on me because it's something I've been dealing with. And this might not be like one of my more amusing videos. Let me tell you about making these videos. I started making these videos because I wanted to talk about bottom surgery because there's just not enough videos and resources out there for black trans men about bottom surgery because they don't like to talk about it, the ones that do get it. And there's not many that get it, but when they do get it, they don't like to talk about it. Or I haven't seen anybody like to talk about it. That is the purpose of my YouTube channel. And that, that turned into something else because I didn't have a lot to report on about that. 
you know, you see me, y'all see me when I come on here, I'm fine. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't have complications. I didn't have a lot of stuff going on. It's not a lot. Like, I've always felt like I had a dick. Like, that's just, that just is what it is. So when I finally had the means of going and getting it, it felt normal to me. It didn't feel weird to me. So, or like I needed to expand and talk about a lot of things with it. So I'm really, yeah, please understand, I am really trying with this with this page and trying to keep it to about what you know transition issues and topics but I do have a lot of other stuff going on in my life and I don't feel I don't feel like that's a big part of me like it's something that you know that's identified but it doesn't feel like it's a major part of my life so when I go off onto other topics like if you're not here for that I'm sorry but I I will t I will give a shout out to I I don't know his um I can't, I'm sorry, off the top of my head, I can't think of his YouTube name, but his his name is Carson, and um, we're Facebook friends, that's where it all started, and also I do um, follow him on YouTube, um, <clears throat> but I make a comment all the time how I don't know if anybody cares about what I'm talking about, and he commented on one of my videos and was like, dude, I care, somebody else will care, you know, so if and this is not to discredit my wife because she always tells me to make videos make videos about whatever so much credit to her but I also want to give a shout out to Carson just because um, honestly had he not made that comment I probably wouldn't be making any other types of videos just because I felt I never felt like anybody really cared you know and surprisingly there have been people comment and message me saying you know they love they love my videos and they love when I talk about myself because I'm just not a I, I wasn't really here for that so Thank you for anybody that's commented, and I've gotten negative comments too, but the, the positive always outweigh the negative. So, I don't give a lot of light to the negative ones, and I do appreciate all the positive ones. So, thank you for anybody who's watched my video, commented, shared it, liked it, um, just told me to, you know, keep making videos, or that they identify with me, or um, anything. I, I really, you please understand, I really do appreciate it. Um, but I'm going to continue to put out content no matter what it's about. If the content's for you, great. If it's not for you, skip that video. You know, um, I don't make video. I don't want to make it sound like a dickhead, <laughs> you know, but I don't make videos solely for you guys. I make videos for me um, because a lot of it believe it or not is good therapy for me but I also want to make video guys videos for you guys like the you know the transition videos and you know just talk about mental health and stuff like that because somebody might need to hear it you know but I don't do it for you I do it for me because it helps me feel better and it helps me feel like I'm doing something for somebody else and that's just a but little selfish tidbit I guess uh, but uh, I'm always tell y'all please stay on top of your mental health. If you don't think anybody cares, somebody does care. You gotta find. You might have to find that person, but it's more people out here that care than than you think. And you you never know who's watching you. And I don't mean YouTube videos. I mean just in in life in general. You never know who's watching, and you never know who's really admiring you from a distance. So please don't give up on yourself. I'm gonna tell myself all the time. Not to give up on myself, y'all. I'm gonna tell you, this is sounds bad, but I'm gonna tell y'all something about me. I tell y'all stuff about me all the time, but I'm gonna tell y'all something that's really, really serious about me. In my, I can't remember. Uh, I'm gonna say from middle school on because I know for a fact middle school. There has never been a week in my life since middle school, mind you, I'm 30 years old, so. Um, there's never been a week that's gone by that I did not think about suicide. Never. Not one week. And But to hear that, that sounds pretty negative. But you also need to understand where I come from. Like, I'm so good now. And my wife has a lot to do with that because she helps me with a lot of things. And whether she knows it or not, I'm pretty sure she does know it. But, um... And that's another reason I've been down because she's been out of town. When my wife goes away, I get sad. Like... I, we are always together, you know, so, but not to the point where life is over. I just, because I do, I, I like when she goes out of town too, because I get to eat what I want, do what I, you know, whatever. 
but I was in such a dark place. You know you're down bad when you have a plan to end your life and you know exactly where you're going to do it, how you're going to do it. Like I'm telling you guys this because I, you don't understand how far I've come. And I'm telling you that it's always going to be somebody that cares even if you think there's nobody. There's somebody in there. There's so many there's for there not to be one person that gives a shit about you. And if you think you don't have nobody, message me. Hell, I don't message me because, you know, I'll, t I'll talk to you. I mean, I'm not going to talk to you all day and all night, but somebody gives a damn about you. Understand this. And it might not be in the form that you think that it will be in, but somebody cares. And it might not be an intimate relationship. You might, it might just be you have that one solid friend. If that one solid friend, that, that's, all you, that's all you need. And you could be saving their life for all you know. You don't, you know, you think if somebody's coming to save you, save your life, and you might be saving their life. So, somebody gives a damn about you. I promise you that. And you just got to live life and figure out who, who all is in your corner. And so, this one is to my actually really personal friends, like my friends in real life. I appreciate each and every single one of y'all, y'all don't even know. Because I, y'all know I don't talk to y'all as much as I should. And I damn sure don't talk to y'all every day. But, but I, I care about y'all. and I Because I know y'all care about me. You know what I mean? Like, even if y'all didn't care about me as much as I care about y'all, I still love you niggas. So, um, please understand, there's always going to be somebody that cares. And it just may not come in the form that you think it will come in. So, please, be, be nice to one another. Like, seriously. This world is just, it's hard enough as it is, and you never have to do anything by yourself. If you feel like you're alone, there's, I gave y'all on my last video, talking about mental health, some resources. If you feel like you need to talk to somebody, please, you can, t you can text some of these numbers. You don't even have to talk, send talk on the phone. That's my major thing is I hate talking on the phone. And, and it's draining for people that they want to hear your voice or they want to, they want to, you know, I know I drain the hell out of people with that, but I, I will screen the hell out of calls because I just hate to talk on the phone, you know. But And I still get into moods where I just can't, like, I just can't with it. You can text me all day long, but the moment you want to hear my voice, eh, no. Um, so, <clears throat> I always, I always hope that my videos help somebody, but even if they don't help somebody, they helped me. <laughs> so... I'm sorry y'all like I'm not I'm really not selfish like that but when it comes to stuff like this I do these videos as far as transitioning go to help y'all because that that's for y'all as far as spreading information goes but when I sit here and I talk to the camera and it's about stuff that doesn't really have to do with transitioning that's to help me and I love when people tell me that they love my video because even though I didn't make it for you especially I'm especially happy that you enjoyed something that I made because I when if, I do want to feel like people care because I just sometimes I feel like I don't care enough about enough things and that leads me into another depressive episode but I say a lot I don't care a lot because I'm going to be real with you about 70% probably more I don't care about little stuff but if it can help save somebody's life or help make somebody feel like they need to be here another day or something of that nature I'm, I'm so here for that